But yeah, it's like the character Finn in uh, Star Wars The Last Jedi. When he tries to sacrifice himself, it's not okay, and he gets saved by the female character in the film, Rose. But earlier in the film, when the female character wanted to sacrifice herself as the captain, it was okay. <laughs> When Laura Dern's character wanted to do it. So right there, you're making it seem like you have a forced and feminist message where that the women are the superior ones and that the men suck. And that was damaging in that film. Overall, I thought the diversity in The Last Jedi actually was one of the stronger points of it. Trying to make a, uh, uh, a you know, a good message about fem uh, women, you know, in general, in places of power that they can handle things just as good as the men. But that's when it becomes uh, a force. That's when it bec that's when it feels forced in the movie, and the uh, the writer or and the director lose focus, and it just becomes like a beating you over the head statement that feels like they're just trying to say women rule, guys suck. That's when it becomes bad. If you can't write it really good, don't bother putting the shit in there in the first place. Um. But yeah, it's just and it's the two Disney movies are the one I'm referencing, but I know it's been done in other stuff as well, but these are the two off the top of my head. And I like Spider Man Homecoming. Overall I thought it was a good, not great, but good family flick. But the the forced political agenda of these studios and stuff like that, I mean, and I'm all for positive messages in movies, but there's a right way to do that in a wrong way. Like when you have like an, when you have a movie like The Smurfs and you're watching it and all at once, uh, one of the Smurfs goes, "Well, um, I don't want to take a picture in this uh, in this uh, place or whatever because uh, you know the, their products are made from." wherever whatever country and i don't want to support that it's like why the hell is this thrown into a freaking smurfs movie it's like the movie stops and becomes something else and it's just not appropriate for the subject matter that you're having in the film because if you just want to throw it in there and not have a real discussion about it because you know you can't because you're putting it into a movie like spider-man homecoming which is a freaking spider-man movie so it has to focus on doing spider-man stuff and entertaining you with a spider-man story there's no time to really talk or develop or dive into what you've set up about the Washington Monument being built by slaves. So there's no point in shit being in there in the first place. It's just a waste of time and it's just put in there just so we can say, hey, SJWs, uh, we put it in there, don't knock our movie, please give it good reviews. It's like, that's the only reason it's in there. Or the director or writer is an SJW and he wants to say, hey, check this out. And that's not always the case. Sometimes the writer is just not that good and he just puts stuff in there trying to really make a statement but just doesn't know how to do it or pull it off correctly and it just comes out stupid. Um... That's probably what happened in The Last Jedi. But, um, anyway, the right way to do that in movies where it doesn't call for stuff like that or deeper meanings like Spider-Man Homecoming or a, a Superman or Batman movie or whatever is to put it in there as subtext. That way, you know, it can get you thinking it's in there as subtext, you know, make you think the movie's smarter than what it is. It's a little bit more on the uptake. But not to just throw it in there and, like, blank, uh, just blankly just throw it in there for no other reason than just to have it in there that's when it becomes beating you over the head with the politics and that's what i can't stand i mean once we allow movies to be took over by political agendas i mean it's just going to advance from there in my opinion it's just going to escalate i mean what's next uh rock music videos that are trying to uh, blatantly tell you what candidate to support i don't support trump but i wouldn't want to watch I wouldn't approve of a two-hour Batman movie that just bashes Trump, like, over the head, like, right in your face. I mean, it's fine to have it as subtext, but a Batman movie should not be a political-leaning film. You shouldn't have two hours... You shouldn't have Batman all at once show up and go, I'm not supporting this uh, Trump Tower because he's a shitty president or something. I mean, I, it's uncalled for in a friggin' Batman movie. There's no reason to have that there. It's the same thing for Spider-Man. And then as a parent, do you want your kids learning politics or writing or, you know, deeper things from a Spider-Man movie or a, a Batman movie? It's fun and it's fine to send positive messages, but it has to be done in a way to where it doesn't seem like it's forcing you or beating, over, beating you over the head. That's the problem. There's no subtext to it, and there, it's being forced into movies that it doesn't really belong into. That's Those are the problems, and it's just going to escalate from there. I mean, well, uh, I could be watching an anime or something, or playing a video game, and the, video, the message of the video game is two hours of telling me about 
anti-violence and how you shouldn't play violent video games. I'm getting the message from the video game. I mean, that's the kind of stuff it's going to lead to eventually if it continues to escalate. Everything's going to be PC and sanitized to the point where there's no risk taken for nearly anything. And we're almost there already. But, yeah, all in all, I just wanted to discuss this matter because I feel like it's kind of getting up there. And I've pretty much said all I need to say on it. Uh, in terms of my views on this stuff, I'm okay with positive messages, but they have to be done in the right way. And movies lately just do not know what that is. And they have to be done in movies that are appropriate to have them in. I don't want to go see a Batman movie with a two-hour discussion of who's better between Hillary or Trump. So, <laughs> I'll see you guys again with the next video.